if you needed more proof that Bethesda is, they're trying to hype us up about hating and failing. And they really, really want us to pay attention because they are announcing Elder Scrolls 6 and Fallout 3 later this year, around June 14th. And they, they, they do these things that like we call them out on and then they double down on it and they do it more. And it's given, it's given YouTubers so much to talk about. When we, when we think about the future of Bethesda, the future is set. They're going to win. They're complete. They know what they're doing. They released Fallout 76 online as a base game with nothing in it so they could add to it later. And they're doing that with Starfield. And now we have famous YouTubers that they gave interviews to or just good modders that report on the news for Bethesda. You know, I wanted my own throne, um, but I don't like the use throne button and uh, I don't like uh, the throne user just, you know, standing there. So a tavern it is. Current rumors for the storyline for Elder Scrolls 6 is the following. They will be reintroducing the Starborn mechanic as a ascension mechanic. At the end of Elder Scrolls 6, you are supposed to be able to ascend to godhood or become a Daedric Prince and gain unfathomable power. And at the end of it, you are allowed to reset the world. Um, they are taking a lot of different elements uh, from when they last made an Elder Scrolls game, where they're making it. Also, the place is taken in High Rock. They will add the Orcs, the Red Guard, and the you're going to war with the Altmeria Dominion. They're going to introduce the Orc Kingdom as DLC. Serena from the Vampire Expansion will be making an appearance. So will Alduin's brother. And at the end of the game, Alduin himself will even be making an appearance. The story is going to take place around the tower of where the gods gathered at the beginning of creation. See, the dwarfs are returning in Elder Scrolls 6, and they want to, as you say, wipe the slate clean. And they will go to the center of creation, that being the tower, at the end of the game, where they will try to use divinity there. The last time they were around, they used... I forgot what the tools are called, but they were using tools on the heart of one of the gods back then. I think the heart of something. The Mages Guild will be back. The Thieves Guild will be back. And the brother, the Dark Brother will be making appearance. Unfortunately, the Fighters Guild is going to be re replaced with a Knighthood. While you can't return to Skyrim, in the introduction of Elder Scrolls Six, you will be asked what happened in the war. And this will affect some of the dialogue, but there won't be any real significant changes according to what rumors are suggesting. Apologies. The basic idea is that the gods, you know, the, the divines, have left relics in the world that contain their pure essence. As like a, as a Daedric weapon is a part of the Daedric Prince it represents. You'll be tasked with retrieving these relics. Unfortunately, even though High Rock is its own territory, each territory is independent of one another, more so than you would see in Skyrim. One of the most exciting things I like to see that I heard is they're reintroducing the settlement system. You can also become Lord or Lady of a town and start building the town up. This will be a war, Elder Scrolls. There will be a large war, like in Skyrim, but on a larger scale because of upgraded you know, software and hardware. And you will have more than one companion with you at a time. And these men can die. Anyway, this was your monthly news for w Wasteland Horizons. I'm Miss Stranger. Hit that like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.